Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. Well, it continues to be a challenge to decide between the two options that we have available here on the smaller time frame. Um, the market is just moving in corrective patterns up and down. So we are currently, um, basically, we, we cannot identify a clear five wave pattern anywhere here. So that makes it extremely difficult. Um, microstructure, definitely, um, yeah, difficult to, to, yeah, let's say determine. Um, I mean, there are options, okay, but it's difficult to determine what is the more likely one. That's the problem on the microstructure. The bigger picture is, of course, unchanged, and I'm still watching for higher prices for ETH. Yeah, probably over the coming weeks or months, so towards 3,500 plus. It is always a challenge to determine how long a move takes. I mean, this correction already started in December, so it's a really, really long correction we're already in february so a couple of months already i mean that's decent amount of time in this correction really without really breaking out as always say these these rallies in crypto they happen very quickly the corrections can take ages and they can be frustrating very frustrating so you need to prepare for that if you are in the crypto market um, these movements can be extremely frustrating, draining, yeah? and they can take longer than you think. And uh, we get overshooting waves, overshooting corrective waves. That's one of the main problems here. We have an overshooting corrective wave, but it was massively, it did massively overshoot. That's not so typical, which means we just need a little bit more evidence, really. Um, you know, when, when we want to suggest that a low is in here. At the moment, there are two scenarios I'm tracking. So I see this here as a WXY structure at the moment. WXY. The wave 2 could be in in the yellow count. Absolutely. That's the main correction. And the third wave towards 3,500. I mean, yeah, by all means, it could be starting. But it's not very evident yet. Basically, within what would be a third wave to the upside, um, this here would be a subwave, wave 1. Yeah? Um, but I haven't got five waves up yet. So I need one more high above the last swing high of 2390 to basically confirm that we have a five wave pattern to the upside. Then I can add a support area for the wave two, and then we can use that as a jump off point higher. That's one scenario I'm tracking. Acknowledging the low could be in. Mm, but this will be invalidated with a break below $2,171, okay? Which is the swing low here from the 23rd of January and also the 25th of January, plus minus a few dollars, depending on the exchange. Um, so that's the yellow count, the directly bullish one. There is a more directly bearish one as well, in which, yep, I mean, we might count that as a WXY. Then um, this here would only be the A wave, yeah, flat structure in wave A. This here might have been already the B wave. Maybe it stretches a little higher in a B wave. And then we come down in wave C. That's possible as well. And it would just extend further. Please be aware of that. All of this is possible until we can identify a five wave pattern to the upside and a three wave pattern to the downside. Until then, the correction can easily extend, which is why I'm so picky about these structures. I need to watch the microstructures identify five waves up. If I can't, and I highlight to you, it's still corrective there is still a risk of another low. Of course, it doesn't need to happen, right? But it's probable, okay? So yeah, this is sort of something I'm watching as well. Um, obviously it can fail also more directly. Whenever we don't have five waves up, be aware that the correction could easily still be ongoing. Then it could even be the case that this is an A, B, C, and one, two, three, four, five, but then the way forward would be higher than usual. So it's, it's a mess on the smaller time frame, to be honest. Whenever we have a situation like that, it can make sense just to trade the, the larger time frame or look for other setups which are clearer. There are a few in the crypto market at the moment which are a bit clearer, like, for example, Matic, maybe Rune, you know, just to name some examples. But basically, it's all about um, watching for a five-wave pattern to the upside. And if the, if the price forms one more high, I'm going to put, um, I'm going to give the yellow count preference then I have five waves up. It takes, as I said, a break above 2,391. And the next resistance area and possible target area for wave five is sort of around 2,425. Um, a little bit higher maybe as well, 2,454. There's a bit of a range there. 
that is where I would like to see that fifth wave finish, ideally. Okay, sort of in that range. We'll see if it goes too long, we have a larger ABC structure. So that's sort of why it's so important to watch for five waves. If the five waves are confirmed, then I can add a support area for the subsequent corrective pullback. Until I see those five waves, I assume the correction is still unfolding. And from here, the white count might play out, which is a directly bearish pathway. Okay, I showed you that already a couple of days ago, highlighted, however, that the wave two might stretch a little higher. Um, if we add some resistances or just check them for yellow, no, for white wave two, then the white wave two has now reached Fibonacci resistance. It's between 2,315 and 2,358. Consequently, a break above 2,358 will make the yellow count more likely. Um, it will not invalidate white, but it will make it much less likely and there is not much distance to uh, break above the previous high then. Yeah. So that's what I'm watching at the moment. There isn't really much to update. It's a very boring chart. Um, so yeah, they're always the worst updates, but <laughs> there's not much to update. So I think resistances are clear. Support levels and validation points are clear. By the way, the white count will be further confirmed with a break below the, yeah, what did I say? 2,170, 2,171 dollar level, which is sort of this double bottom here on the 23rd and 25th of January. And then one more low could take us into the region around 2,000, 2,100 dollars. That's my update about ETH. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.